Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet another FNAF news video, but this one is just about FNAF AR. You see, the original plan was to produce a full-on FNAF news video because it's been like two weeks since I last made one. I mean, we're legit getting news as I film this video. I haven't posted one in the entirety of the month of September, so I really do owe it to you guys because, again, I've missed out on quite a lot. I still gotta talk about this book, I still gotta play Pop Goes Evergreen that just got a brand new update, but instead, I've decided to sit my butt down in this chair and talk about FNAF AR. But it's for a pretty good reason because Illumix just revealed new details on the fall update of FNAF AR, which as we last heard back in July is going to be a very interesting new update because apparently it's going to be paid DLC this time around. So yeah, they've revealed a whole bunch of brand new info. Some of it sounds pretty promising. The other bit of it not so much if I'm being honest. So let's not waste any more time and let's just hop into it. Before that quickly, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We've been growing insanely fast and I cannot thank you guys enough. And as I just mentioned, we have a bunch of videos coming out on Friendly Face, General FNAF News, and also the new Pop Goes Evergreen update. But that's not the update we're talking about today. Instead, let's go back to July to remind ourselves what this fall update is all about. So as a reminder, this is what Illumix said about the fall update all the way back in July when they first announced it. We've been listening and taking note of things that you've all said you enjoyed as well as things that you'd like to see a change in. We can't reveal everything but here's just a peek into what we're working on for the fall with more clues and details coming of course. Just as a fair reminder they haven't made any clues yet. In respect to things you've enjoyed we know that lots of you deeply enjoyed Plus Trap and his mixed reality encounter. For things to change, yes that first sentence is the one and only positive thing about FNAF. We've heard your feedback on micro transactions and wanted to give you all a different option that's more like DLC or an expansion pack. With all of that considered, we've been focused on developing a whole new experience for this fall that will act like a FNAF AR expansion pack and feature multiple animatronics, plus an entirely brand new game mode. And like I said, that was July, so a couple months ago, and then we got all the blast from the past events. And then here we are today with the September update. So let's have a look and see what Illumix has to say. Fall's making its way towards us, and some major FNAF AR updates are also making their way towards you. We hope you've been enjoying the blast from the past, since they'll soon be drawing to a close. We've been taking time to craft and refine the fall update. Take a look at some details below. And then they have four bullet points on what we can expect for the fall update. The new game mode will be in both mixed reality and augmented reality and will feature new gameplay. That sounds exciting. Like they said in the previous post, we did really enjoy the mixed reality of Plush Trap. And contrary to popular belief, I don't hate everything about FNAF AR and Illumix, and I do really enjoy the mixed reality. So I am pretty excited to see what the new gameplay is going to be. It better not just be me with my phone spinning around in circles again. And I am curious to see what the new augmented reality and mixed reality experiences we're gonna get. You'll meet some old friends. Okay, don't really, don't really know what they mean by old friends. It's not like we haven't been seeing them for the past, what? Three months? And we'll encounter a new and quite special animatronic skin. Illumix, Illumix, you had one f***ing job. Look. I know people don't like that guy, the person that's like, oh, we need new characters, you know, it's been so-and-so since we've had the last character. By the way, it's been about nine months since Golden Freddy, just saying. But honestly, what are you doing? Really? You are giving us one animatronic skin, not even a new character, a goddamn skin. It's it's hilarious at this point. It's humorous. I'm, I'm chortling in my seat right now. How dumb are you? And I really don't feel bad about saying that because, again, you've had nine months to plan this release to make a new character. Even Golden Freddy mostly reused mechanics from previous characters. So the fact that this new update at, at launch, you know, the, the initial launch is gonna have one, what, new quite special animatronic skin. I don't care how new, I don't care how special it is, it's a goddamn skin. I really hope... If anything, it's gonna be like a JJ skin for Balloon Boy, or like Endo 2 skin. I know Endo 2 is speculated to be a new character, but, you know, stick with me for a second. You know, something like that. <sighs> but anyways, let's keep reading. As a refresher from the July update, the new game mode will act like a FNAF AR expansion pack that you'll be able to purchase access for from the in-game store. So not only 
do we not get any new characters? You also have to pay for the new update. I get it, it's DLC, you know, it's an expansion pack, but so far, I'm not inclined to buy this thing in the slightest. Hello, I'm, I'm editing again. I just wanted to quickly pop on because I realized that some people may think, you know, like in July, they had said DLC, so why am I upset that you have to pay for it? Because it was made pretty obvious months ago that we would have to pay for it. The problem is mostly you have to pay to play the new gameplay update. Like, at first, when we got that post back in July, I think we all thought, okay, so it's gonna be like a DLC bundle where you get a few characters, you know, maybe a few skins, and that would be the DLC. I don't think anyone thought that the DLC would be the update itself, you know, the actual new gameplay, which, from what Illumix is, is hinting at in this new post, seems to be the case. Which, in my opinion, is really stupid. You know, I'm fine to pay extra money for a new character, you know, maybe some new better skins, but in order to play the new gameplay update, in order to, you know, experience the, the, the mixed reality and the, um, um, augmented reality mixed together, you have to pay for it? I think that's stupid. Oh, I I'm sorry, guys, there's also gonna be a fall event, so in the end, everybody wins! As much as you guys may think, I really don't like coming on here to just crap on FNAF AR, but it's just, it's, it's hard not to at this point. Like, how do you go from, all right, we're listening to the community, what you guys want and what you don't want, to, all right, here's a paid, you know, expansion pass that will have no new characters and will have one new skin. Sure, the gameplay's fine. That's exciting. New mixed reality, you know, new augmented reality, new gameplay mode. That's all exciting. I love that. But everything else, it's just... That, that solves nobody's problems, you know, right? Like, nobody asked for a brand new skin, let alone just one. Maybe if it was like, you know, a group of skins, like, you know, four pack of skins, I, sure, but just one? And again, you know, maybe it'll be like a, uh, like truly a special skin, you know, like JJ skin or DD skin for Balloon Boy, something like that, that kind of ties back into FNAF and not just swap Balloon Boy. But right now I'm not sold, but apparently, that's not it. A glimpse of the future. What's up next after the fall release, you ask? Some more awesome things, as always. More events, more mixed reality, and a new character are among these great things. So I'm sorry guys, I got it wrong. We're getting one new character this year, and they'll be coming away before the end of the year. So in one year, we're only getting one new character. Like, it just, it blows my mind that this is the direction that they went towards, you know? Instead of... Like they said, listening to the community, they went from, alright, here's a, a new game mode that you have to pay for it to be able to play it, and also, there's not gonna be any new characters in this new expansion pack, which you pay for, and instead, the only new character is gonna be one, and there's only gonna be one new one this year. Like, I just, I really do not understand what Illumix is thinking. Illumix is so greedy just being honest like instead of actually fixing the game mode or you know going through and listening to the to the community all right what do you want oh new characters pog you instead we get pog o oh here's a brand new game mode but you have to pay for it and also there's going to be no characters something that is very highly requested and actually you know gets people excited for the goddamn game nope it's just a whole bunch of new cosmetics that you have to pay for i really do think that this is going to be the downfall just like the ultimate end for fnaf AR. like this this is going to go so bad right i think once security breach comes out hopefully later this year i i, I truly do think that this is probably going to be the end of fnaf AR. illumix just keeps making bad decisions after bad decisions and they say they're listening but clearly they are not i really really do not like coming on here to just crap on Illumix and to crap on FNAF AR, because at the end of the day, I I really don't hate the game. I really don't. It's just Illumix and their decision making and just the, the empty promises that we've been getting over the past nearly two years at this point is astounding. But yeah, that's, that's gonna do it for today. Hopefully soon I'll have a more upbeat video talking about, you know, actually exciting news in the FNAF franchise. So tell me in the comments what do you guys think about the new fall update, and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Goodbye.